Hello, Patreon friends. Um, today I've got my iPad. I'm gonna do some live, um, I don't know, it's not live, but I'm gonna let you guys watch me make the mandala for this month. Uh, hopefully you can hear me because I was a little bit away from the microphone, but I am doing the mandala for this month. I am doing it via this little screen share situation. So let me get my settings right. Here we go, this is what I was looking for. And option. And I guess I'll keep it like this. But yeah, I um, hope you guys like the astrology forecasts. Those are always going to be on the longer side just because it's a lot to get through. Sometimes there are more dates than other months. Um, but I noticed like <laughs> some of my favorite astrologers, their astrology readings are around the same time, if not longer. Like the astrology podcast, they're on that thing for two hours and a half. And I don't know how they do it, but I am there to listen to it. <laughs> so um, this one will be shorter, but let's see. This month I'm feeling kind of like this burnt orangey color. Something different, you know? Um, but I'm also feeling some yellow. So that's what I'll start with. And I feel like that's kind of like the focus for this month. The burnt orange is kind of like the aura for this month. Um, where that kind of gives us this sacral chakra energy. We're also dealing with, um, let me make sure I'm recording actually. Eh, come back, where are you? Where'd you go? I'm not recording, thought I started. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was like, oh no. Oh no, but yeah, feeling this burnt orangey color, uh, it kind of combines the energy of the sacral chakra and the um, root chakra, since it is kind of a combination of the two colors. Um, and with these energies, we can see um, sexual healing, womb healing, both kind of root and sacral related things, maybe healing within the creativity within your own life. Maybe you haven't been creative for quite some time, or you haven't had the time to be creative, and maybe you're getting like an energetic boost and inspiration to do so. And so um, maybe some of those creative um, interests are coming back to you. Maybe you are um, allowing yourself to engage in your creativity or noticing how healing it is for you. Um, and maybe that could be the same with sexual energy too. So figuring out and noticing how uh, healing that energy can be for you and to you, um, or even for your relationship if you happen to be within one or within your own relationship with yourself. But with yellow kind of being the central energy here, I feel like there's this element of um, confidence as well. Building confidence, allowing your confidence to ground you within um, your um, experience with your root and your sacral chakras. Uh, I feel like the solar plexus can be so important, especially for root chakra related things, just because fear um, is kind of like a lack of confidence, you know, and especially if you're manifesting anything, which I feel like manifestations can very much correlate with the um, root chakra as well as the crown chakra, uh, you have to have faith and you have to have confidence in those manifestations. It's not just an element of, oh, I believe it's going to happen. So it's going to, you know, sometimes that is the case or no, I think it's going to happen. I'm just willing it into existence through my speech and it's just going to happen. And for some things that is the case, sometimes there are those random instances where it's like, oh, I can just, you know, manifest this easily easily without much effort just by the act of me saying like hey um my dad got a flat tire I can't come in at the time I was thinking I could come into work today and then the next day your dad gets a flat tire <laughs> you know not much confidence in that you're not really trying to manifest anything um but it just happens but other times there are manifestations that take time that take love nurturing you can't just um sit there, clasp your hands, clap your hands, 
hands three times, turn around in four circles, and then boom, there it is. Sometimes there is some added effort and um, I don't know, what is it called? Yeah, effort needed to see these things actualize in the existence that you're living, so. Um, feeling some self-love elements too, which I'm gonna go with more of a magenta. Um, but I feel like maybe some of you are kind of embarking on some new journeys lately. And I think there's this big emphasis on allowing yourself to continue to keep up with your self-love practices, um, or maybe things are becoming overwhelming for you and you're not really able to keep up with things as you normally are. And I feel like this is also, also an emphasis to, hey, get back to it. Hey, get back to it. I feel like, yeah, it's definitely okay to give ourselves a pass and be like, you know, if you don't feel like doing this right now, then just say no to it. That's okay. But there's only so much we can do of that before it turns into just us making excuses for ourselves not to do something. So um, there's this element of recognizing that it is self-love also. It is self-love to say no, and it is self-love to say, hey, this can wait. But it's also self-love to be able to say, hey, I've been slacking. I haven't been paying attention as much as I should in this area. I haven't been putting in that full effort and I need to. So being extra mindful of that as you move through things this month, I feel like um, in the astrological forecast, there were multiple themes of kind of um, the possibility of becoming confused with responsibilities and the order that you might want to do things and how you might want to do them and all of that good stuff. And I feel like this self-love element, this element of listening to um, what your intuition is telling you and being mindful of that and not making excuses for the things that you know that you need to do and the things that you know would um, you know, be healing for you and be balancing for you during this month. Um, I feel like there's this element of self-love where we have to recognize that and make sure that we are putting in that effort because that is equally as important, equally as important. We can say no, but there are only so many days that we can say no to things before we become or before we start creating a habit of, you know, <laughs> not getting things done that we should be. So being mindful of that this month um, and paying attention to the intuition too feeling some purple. Um, and I feel like connecting with self-love in regards to this. Um, there was someone that I met over the weekend and she's super motivated and wants to do so many things. But the thing is like, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of when people just start a business or a storefront. And they immediately are thinking like, oh, I want this to be a franchise. And they barely have their first restaurant or store up and running. And they're already thinking about opening the next one. When the first one is still undergoing renovations, the first one is still pretty disorganized. And, you know, the all the employees aren't there and, you know, whatever the case is. And it's like, it'll seem like it's going to do well for a while. But after a few months of that, it's going to be a big strain on not only the business owner, but also on the business itself. If you're not pouring love into that first, you know, that first love of yours, or, you know, it's like, I think I mentioned this in the astrology forecast. It's literally like buying a plant and just setting it on your windowsill and just being like, oh, you know, I got this new plant just going to set you here and you can go ahead and grow. Um, and the plant's like, so you're not going to water me? So you're not going to give me plant fertilizer or plant food? And you're going to put me in this shady ass window? Watch me die on you. <laughs> so making sure that you are pouring the energy necessary into these things that are calling for your attention um, and not getting yourself distracted with all these extra things that you feel like you need to be doing or want to be doing um, and neglecting something that you just started putting energy into, you know, having energy for all those projects and allowing yourself to balance um, have balance as you flow through 
participating in all these things. So thinking about that as you start to create and incorporate and um, become a part of whatever it is that you're thinking of embarking in, you have to have that balance where you are making sure you're pouring the energy into it. I feel like that's like a big message from this mandala, at least allowing yourself to pour the energy into things that it requires, knowing what your intentions are and really having the focus and drive to be patient enough to focus on one thing at a time so that you aren't overwhelming yourself and killing all of your ideas by spreading yourself so thin that you can't even focus on one thing. And through that process, communicating when you need help and assistance. I'm feeling some blue. Communicating when you need help and assistance. No mud, no lotus. This kind of reminds me of a lotus. That's just kind of what I was feeling of doing right here but no mud, no lotus. And sometimes you have to go through the mud in order to see something grow and flourish. Um, you know, a business isn't just going to, you know, maybe on a very rare chance, it might blow up overnight. But in a lot of cases, people have been doing and working on their craft. Even if they haven't had an LLC, they've been working on it for some years. It takes some time. It's not always going to be an instantaneous return of investment. And also, um, you know, with anything, it's just also a matter of allowing yourself to kind of continue to build and not having too eager of expectations um, or over, overly expecting um, some amazing, grandiose returns from something, you know, just because it's like, well, this is what I want and this is what I'm hoping for. So, you know, putting in the energy that you can not overwhelming yourself and being present for everything, not just like starting up, starting it up and hoping it runs itself. That is one of the best ways for things to kind of fall through the cracks. And not only that, you're putting your, your dream, your expectations, even you're pouring it all into, um, these situations and, um, you know, you're involving all these other energies and other people might not be that passionate about what you are putting your energy into. They might not be as passionate about that job. And a lot of people are waking up to the fact that they have dreams too. And um, sometimes, you know, they are there to help themselves progress within their dreams. So you have to be there for your own dream. You can't just put people in there and hope that it runs itself. You have to have some hands on um, the situation. If it's your child, if it's your baby, you have to nurture it. You have to feed it. You have to take care of what's not working. You have to heal it or help heal it when it's sick, get it help, you know, all that good stuff. So pouring that energy into what you are doing and making sure you are being extra mindful of your energy while you do so. And to end out our reading, I'm just going to try Something a little different here with the background. Um, I'll do it down here. So I'm feeling this deep red sort of situation, burnt orange. <clears throat> Allowing yourself to have comfort in being a human this month. And I know it might be hard because seasonal depression runs amok during this time of year um, and all of that stuff. It can just be a little bit difficult to navigate through and um, to deal with having to kind of go into hiber hibernation mode again. Um, but there is healing that can happen when we are allowing ourselves to kind of go within, be within our shadow and um, give it the energy and love that it needs. And see how this goes. Just to give it a little something different. It's going to be a little extra busy, but I feel like I don't mind. And there's that extra added confidence, that grounded energy that 
sacral chakra healing happening in the background. There we are. And that is the mandala for this month. Quick little reading, but I didn't want to keep you guys too long just because these don't take too long. And the astrology reading is obviously more in depth. So feel free. You can print this out, put it on your wall, put it in your wallet, um, use it in a crystal grid, use it within your rituals or your magic. If you do monthly work, um, for yourself. Good way is to print this out, put a little crystal grid on it by placing crystals in different areas. You know, you could place one in the middle and four corners, stuff like that. Um, or you can maybe print this out, write a petition on the back, things that you're working for or working toward this month, put some goals on the back. Um, you could place it on the wall, you know, as a piece of artwork, you could fold it up. Um, and burn it as a petition, whatever you want to do, you know, print out another one to put on the wall in that case. Um, and yeah, yes, do your protective work this week or this month, my friends, allow for expansion, allow for growth and allow for stillness. I feel like stillness um, is going to be really key this month in terms of kind of self-discovery and, you um, internal growth, shadow work, allowing yourself to be within each present moment so that you're not distracting yourself from the work that is being asked to be this month. So that is our reading, my friends. I'm going to pull some cards. So let me grab my deck. I'm going to pause this so you're not just sitting here like, where are the cards at and where is she? So one deck, and I'm going to pull some cards for us and end this out. All right, friends. So I love this screen sharing. I feel like I can make this even more dynamic and awesome. So here you can see my two cards that I pulled from my um, Oracle of the Sun, Oracle of the Seven Energies deck. Hopefully you heard that. And uh, we've got Uncharted Sea and Divine Matrix. And um, it's interesting because the compass and like the circle thing happening on Divine Matrix both remind me of um, the astrological chart. So maybe paying extra attention to the astrological weather for this month and seeing how it resonates with you or, you know, whatever, or even seeing what comes up within your chart. Um, I kind of explained within the reading uh, that I just posted how, um, well, I didn't just post it. Well, I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> talking present or future time, but I explained how you can find that within your chart. Um, but I would take a look at that, see what house it falls in, uh, what planets are present there, the relationship the planets have to each other, which can be really advanced stuff for some. So, you know, maybe just noticing what house it falls in and depending on the house, that'll be some of the themes like, um, I don't know, ninth house, you might notice uh, some themes around knowledge, learning, that sort of thing. Um, 10th house career, uh, 12th house hidden enemies, illness, um, imprisonment, that could be mental, physical, actually going to prison for some people, you know, whatever the case is. So I would take a look at that. Um, but with the uncharted sea, I feel like some of you are again, and then it kind of flows with what I was saying about like embarking on new endeavors, wanting to do new things. And, um, you know, like the little story I was saying where the lady was just, or the person, you know, whatever, it was getting so overwhelmed with, um, well, not overwhelmed, but I could see her getting overwhelmed with herself by the amount of different things that she was trying to do and not much um, structure to it, but also wanting to do everything at once, which can definitely get very tiring. You know, I've done that before and it does not really work too well. So allowing yourself to um, navigate through these waters and take what you can. If you try to take everything with you and do every single project and make every single stop, this little raft or boat is not going to ho hold up very well because it is only built for a certain sort of journey and trying to incorporate everything and take everything with you is going to be daunting and it's going to be difficult. So I, you know, take what you need, take the bare bones 
and flow with it from there. With divine matrix, I feel like, um, you know, and I even get that astrological feeling, but I feel like that also kind of plays with that idea of, um, uh, what is it? recognizing that there are cycles and recognizing the cycles that happen within your life and the messages and um, the notes and the signs that you might receive from the matrix. And in some cases that is kind of on a, um, you know, could be on an astrological sense where you see certain signs and symbols from your chart. Maybe that is just on uh, or in the sense of things that you practice and you see different signs and symbols that um, help you to know that you're aligned with different things, uh, especially if you're keeping up with your communication with the universe. That's another thing. Um, you know, making sure that you are being present and showing up for the things that you know you need to show up for in order to keep your life moving ahead um, in a steady and healthy pace. That might be meditating daily, making time and space for that, allowing yourself to say, you know what, you know, I'm too tired today and that's okay. But making sure that that doesn't become a habit where you're continually putting things off because it's like, oh, you know, it's okay to say no. And it's like, it's okay to say no occasionally, but some of these things you need to put your energy and intention into so that you can continue to grow and be balanced. So, you know, don't put off the things that you know you need to be doing um, and don't make excuses for it either. It's easy to be like, oh, well, this happened and that happened and oh, this tragic thing happened and this other thing happened. And it's like, you can only make excuses for so long until it's like, you're just getting into this habit of not doing things and making excuses for why you're not doing them. So show up for those things that need you to show up, make sure you're not overexerting yourself in the process and just having a balanced energy overall when it comes to these things. So page 44, divine matrix. I'm going to read these really quick. Um, oh, here it is. Divine matrix, the realm of spirit, the knowledge that we are all divine beings, part of a tapestry, weaving our dreams into the fabric reality, um, synchronicity, learning to trust the ways thing, the way things unfold. Do you ever wonder how synchronicities have come together? These meaningful coincidences move life through, move life forward in ways we might not understand at the time. We can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate, or oh my gosh, of separate parts with space between because the true quantum spiritual nature of reality can be confusing. Imagine that everything is possible under the sun, or imagine that everything possible under the sun is waiting to be claimed. You are not separate from what you desire to manifest. Everything is intrinsically connected within a vast living web of life, a divine matrix. Even that. Oh, even that which you have not observed yet as a part of your life experience is still connected to you. It remains dormant until you choose it. So even those things that we are manifesting that feel out of touch, out of reach, those are present. Life operates on life's terms as well. You don't live in a vacuum. So you are surrounded by a multitude of realities that were brought to life by others. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. But as your thread... But as you thread your luminous life force, your courageous dream is part of the tapestry of life. You're being invited to be conscious of the pattern you are weaving. Oh, isn't it, isn't it amazing to know that you have such power inherent in you just being alive? You will see evidence of the truth of this divine matrix today. It is in you. What do you? Oh, what you do matters. All manner of miracles are waiting for you to lay claim to them ready. So um, allow yourself to be present for those things that are showing up for you, knowing that they are present in your life, even though you don't see them currently, and not giving up on those things either. Stepping into the unknown without a map, moving beyond your comfort zone, choosing to do things differently, trusting in the ebb and flow of life, being in the dark and letting curiosity lead, the faith that all will be well. And this is the uncharted sea. Your comfort zone is something exactly that. Oh my gosh. Your comfort zone is sometimes exactly that. A safe, familiar harbor that you finally 
come to in yourself. You have a sense that you don't need more than what is available right now, where you've landed in life. Now, however, is not one of those times. So even though it feels like, oh, I can just chill. No, the universe is telling you, you need to put in some more action. Like the archetypal hero's journey, the universe is inviting you to step into uncharted waters. Something is stirring, a venture is calling, you might want to resist this urge because it will involve leaving your comfort zone. But embarking on this journey is essential for your well-being. Navigating the uncharted aspects of yourself means you won't have a map because no one else has ever been here. On this journey, you cannot rely on the help you would typically expect from others who have gone before you or even those who haven't. And like I was saying, you know, you can't just start something and expect everyone else to show up for it the way that you would. Um, you have to nurture it. You have to water it. You have to put in that energy. This new territory is yours to explore. You're invited to be a pioneer, a pathmaker, a magical cartographer who draws your map within your own life force as the ink. This is the day to dive into a novel experience and fully immerse yourself in the new. You don't know what the sea of possibility has in store for you, so stay curious and refrain from judgment or the need to label. Give yourself the time and freedom to be curious without the limitations and boundaries projected by your memories or expectations. You are in a amazing or you are in an amazing place right now and you will never be the same for surveying these waters. So it might not be easy, might not be ideal. You might encounter some sea monsters. You might encounter some people that feel like they're down for the journey, but really end up <laughs> being on their own and being more interested in their own. Um, but that doesn't mean that you don't continue to pour energy and love into what you're working on. So continue to pour into those things, continue to pour your love into them, your energy and all that good stuff and um, stay on the uncharted sea, you know, stay on your journey. Don't expect everyone else to have the answers to the things that you're meant to do, because in some cases nobody's never, you know, nobody has ever done them. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I can barely talk anymore. You guys can hear me blah, 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 all over my words. So I hope you have a amazing November. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, and I hope you also enjoy the one for the astrology forecast. Really excited about that one. I am now certified after going through my astrology course, which is so exciting and amazing. So I feel even more motivated. Not that I didn't before, but it's just like that extra added benefit of like, or that extra added feeling of like, you know, I really did a, or went through a accomplishment. And so it feels really good to be involved in the things that I love. So here I am showing and sharing and expressing. Um, but again, join us on the discord, download the app. It's completely free, no ads, no bombarding, you know, crap or whatever the case is that you normally find on other social media. Um, you can turn off and on the notifications, I think, for each separate channel. So if you only want the astrology updates and only want to be notified for them, I think you can do that. Um, but it's a space for us to share, to chat, to share resources and ideas if you're into that. Um, I'm all about community, so I wanted to build a little community there, a place to plan. If you have any events that you're working on and um, you want a place to plan it out, you can use the Discord for that purpose and I can help you through that. But yeah, I'm excited about it. Don't forget to join. There's a little extra stuff in there for you guys um, and some extra little things I want to do there. But anyway, hope you have an amazing November. Stay safe, stay healthy. And yeah, <laughs> sending you good vibes.